I better have full health. Yep. So you equip yourself with the three treasures that you just mercilessly killed those bosses with right now. You know what's interesting here? I was told that when you get this stuff, you automatically have a level 5 strength even though it doesn't tell you that. However, when I had a strength of 2, I couldn't kill those boxes in one hit. It took 2. So obviously your strength here somehow does affect it. You know, I'm gonna save every so often here. Even though really there's no need to. I should be able to get through here relatively okay. Oh, Pashad, man. That's what that was, buddy. Go on. Oh, what the? Oh, yeah. This is another big gripe I have with this game right now. Look at this. I had no idea you could go underneath that. It took me forever to realize that. You can actually go underneath it. It looks like a solid piece of the foreground. Like, yeah. I wonder, you know, I'm not even sure if there's anything at all here that you can go down. Or, or can stop you, I mean. Kind of... Yeah. Kind of bugs me, I gotta say. Anyway, Medusa is an incredibly easy boss if you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing... Uh... Maybe moderately difficult. Not too tough, though. Come on. Ah, uh, crap. Woohoo. Got you that time. You got this big shield, and you know what? It's totally useless. That's another big thing that bugs me here. Why do I get this armor and all this stuff here? If I get nothing out of it. You know? I, w I thought the shield was going to be able to reflect stuff. Like, you know, in Zelda, when you get the mirror shield, or the reflect spell in Zelda 2. But no, it doesn't do anything. It's just there. I think it's called a mirror shield, too. Which is very ironic because it doesn't reflect anything. It doesn't even block anything. You just get hit. Like those idiots there, they shoot fireballs at you, right? Oh, baloney! Nonsense! Get away from me! It's your problem. I just shot your head off. I mean, come on. I have a heart. Okay, I'm starting to get a bit hurt, but you know we're almost we're almost there, guys. We're real close to the end. So yeah, it does nothing though. It doesn't block, doesn't reflect. And then this kind of bugs me too because yeah, it has the full range. I'll give it that much, which is helpful. But it has like no rapid fire. That's the fastest, you know? I, I mean, I don't know. It seems slower than the arrow too, which is also, uh, which also kind of bugs me. So yeah, like uh, I don't know what to think about this. It's cool you get to fly though. That's nice. Okay, here she is, Medusa. Ah, let me just get into position now. I've been relaxing. I've got to get into battle mode. Now, this is what you do here, pretty much. You fly up here, and then if you go down just right. Ah, come on. Damn it! Come on, fly up. Come on, I can't do that. It's not happening. Mm. Come on. Okay, this isn't good because if we don't do this right, he, this this boss is gonna be real tough. Oh boy. All right, go up here. Get that punk to start shooting at you from an angle. And you kind of just slip by. Let's say it was a 
wild glitch that seemed to work twice when I first when I was first fighting this person. Okay, let's go for it. Okay, guys, I really wish I could do one LP without somebody freaking calling me. But anyway, let's continue. Oh, wait, one moment. Okay, I'm gonna show you. Okay, I figured it out, but for whatever reason, I figured out how to do it on the other side. Like, instead of up, I figured out how to do it down, using the exact same way I did it to do it up. It's very weird. For some reason, it's not working here, so. I guess if it doesn't work while you're up, try doing it down. Okay, so I kind of went down and edged myself up. Now look at that. See? He's totally screwed. What is he going to do? Not even his dragon can hit me here. Watch. I'm not even going to hit the dragon. Look. I can't. I'm untouchable. I can just do this all day here. I can kill him in my sleep. Now, if you didn't know this spot was, and you want to just try to dance around with his plasma eye beam thingies and try to kill him like that, have fun. It's going to be pretty tough. Oh, actually, that dragon hit me that time. But there you go. Dead. Yep. That's... I mean, there you go, right? And there's, uh... Uh, whoever. I guess Athena. I don't think that's what her name is in this, even though it's Zeus. Who's the other guy? Thank you, Pit. Yeah, well, thank you, Nintendo, for another very decent game. I mean, uh, uh I'd probably get more than that. It's actually pretty good. It's pretty hard in some parts. I'd lower. Then that, that pit thing continues. I, I don't know. I'm not sure because there's only one other Kid Icarus game that got made. And that was for the Game Boy. And uh, I'm not sure if it was a true sequel. Uh, I think it might have been a remake, but I'm not totally positive about this. So don't like comment saying, oh, you're an idiot. Of course it's a remake. I don't know. Or, or, or it's a, you know, whatever. I don't know what it is. It's just because uh, Game Boy get, has a big. Uh, I mean, uh. All the different systems, they, they're wonderful at screwing chronological stuff up. And, like, there's a Castlevania for the Game Boy that has nothing to do with any other Castlevania. It's kind of just out there on its own. There's, uh... Or, like, I mean, you know, it's like Adventure Island and, uh... Uh... What was the other one called? <laughs> I can't remember, but... There's an Adventure Island and a game for the... the Sega that are like the exact same game but they have two different names. It's really weird. Alright, but uh, there you go. The ending of Kid Icarus. Press start and you can do the second quest. If you want to do that, have fun, buddy. But, uh, yeah, I'm done here, guys. Hope you enjoyed our little adventure through the world of Kid Icarus and uh, uh, a hiccup. And, well, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.